Hello everyone, in this video we will show you how to create a simple photo gallery example using basic for Android. So first let's open a new project and save it. Okay, so now we will need the panel. So let's create a panel. Then we will need a scroll view. We will also need some bitmaps. So let's store some bitmaps on our project. I will take six images and put it to our uh, project folder on the scroll view files. I've named all images like this so it will be easier for us to call them and load them to our project. Okay, P1, P2, P3 and so on. So now if we go to files and click sync, it will show you up, okay? So let's create six images like this, private BMP, so an array of images. And we will also use variables to store our weight and height of the screen. So let's create two variables. Okay, now we will set the variables to our screen size. And let's initialize the scroll view. Okay, now We'll create a new sub. And we'll initialize our bitmaps to our array of bitmaps. Because we have named all our bitmaps like P, a number, and then dot JPG, we can use a loop to load them to our array. So we'll do it like this for i 0 to BMP length minus 1 BMP i initialize Okay, so what we are doing here is, okay, this must be plus one because our first image is called P1 and not P0. We start with P from zero to the length of the array minus one. And like this, we will initialize all bitmaps to our array. Then we load our school view. So let's create another sub. Here we will initialize our panel. We can set the background color of the panel. and the height. This panel we will add to the scroll view later so we can set the height of it. 
So let's say it's uh, 50. We'll use 50 rows. Each row height will be 25% of the screen height. And the panel weight will be 100% of the screen height weight. Okay, now we do a loop for y equal to 0 to 49. Okay, we will use, we will make 50 rows and each row will have four items. Okay, so let's for x 0 to 3. So we are, we are putting a loop inside another loop. Here we'll create a panel. We call it item panel. Let's set the color. We can also set the tag the panel. Let's be it the index. So let's get first the index variable. And also let's create uh, two variables Now we can create an image view. Initialize it. And set a bitmap to it randomly. We'll take a bitmap from our a bitmap device. randomly from 0 to BMP length we can also create a label we'll set a text and text color to the label and text and the background color to the label okay and also the gravity so the color will be, the the text will be centered Okay, now we'll add the image view and the label to our item panel. Like this, item panel, add view. First we'll add our image view. And now we'll add the label. Okay. 
it will be on the bottom of the item panel. And we will add now the item panel to our main panel. So let's do it like this, PNL add view item panel and here we'll say that it will be so we need to set the x position yes so x item panel weight and y item panel height Now we can increase the index, item index. Okay, now here we have created all our images inside the panel and we can also call them later and I will show you how. But now first we need to, to load the scroll view. So we need to add the main panel to the scroll view. So let's do it like this. Let's load scroll view and we'll create a new sub. And here we need first to remove the view, the PNL view from its parent and then add it again to the scroll view. So the inside panel of the scroll view will add the main panel to it. And we'll set the scroll view panel height to the same height of the uh, main panel height. So let's do it like this. Okay, now we have created our gallery. Also now we also need to add the scroll view to our activity. You can see that we, we are not adding anything to our activity. So if we run now the project, we, we won't see anything. So let's add the scroll view to our activity like this. Activity, add view. Zero, zero. Okay. Now we have called our item panel. Yes, we have initialized it with this sub, with this event name. So let's create an event name like this. Sub. Panel click. And this is our event name. The sender function to get the clicked panel. So let's say dim click panel as panel is equal to sender. And now we can um, get our views from the panel like MGV the image view we know that it is on the first position of the panel yes the first child so we can get it like this clicked panel get view index zero because we have added it first so this is index zero and this the level will be on index one. And now we can also get the level. Now we can show a toast message with the text of our label.
that's it so now we can run this project and see what we got on our simulator you can see that we have a gallery with all images and if we click on any item we get here the toast message with the right label text so a very simple example it also runs very smooth okay thank you for watching and see you on the next tutorial bye